Hey everybody, Argo here. Welcome to the fourth round of the Main Server Event Labs uh, Zombie Tournament, hosted by Marcellus. Alright, we are last. And that is a seven. <laughs> ah, jeez. And we have stuff on portals. Okay, this is not good. So in this zombie tournament, you can't hit the zombies on turn one. Hmm. Now I'm not sure where this seven paths exactly. So for this round, this is uh, one of the golden groups. Uh, these are the settings. Atlantis, progressive zombies with fog on and unstable portals. Uh, players in the golden group, or one of them, we got... Uh, Bradamite, Expert Technically Grandmaster. Feliz, Expert Technically Grandmaster. Uh, Hexy Dude, aka Carter, Master Technically Grandmaster. And Chris, Master Technically Grandmaster. Apparently, everybody likes D ranking for fun. And then we, <laughs> we got ourselves in the last position. All right. So how the hell are we going to try and... Survive. Feliz is running away. So what? how we've made it to the Golden Group is that after the first three rounds, we were top 10 in overall points. And I think we were first with 44 points. And so that meant myself and nine others across two groups, this being one of them, um, aren't, aren't, not aren't, uh, we don't have a chance to be eliminated. Instead, what happens is that the winner of this game will advance straight to the semifinals in round six, and then the other four of us will just uh, go to uh, the quarterfinals next week. So no fear of being eliminated, but we are <laughs> fearing these zombie stacks in the center. I have no clue what the pathing is. But just in case it heads right, we might want to try and... Try and get a card with that two. Say good luck to everybody. Makes it through, it's an eight. Lost two. Alright, so it did go to the right. So we are gonna have a four position play going.
So we we're sort of hidden away from everybody. These are unstable portals. But time will tell if we're going to be managing to stay hidden. <clears throat> All right, there's two fully stacks. Does Carter sit there for a kill guard on me? there. Alright. Take a safe card over here. Position gets wiped out there. All right, good thing I combined those. Chris takes that zombie portal two there, we could have a trading zone in the middle between him, Feliz, and I. Long term, that might be good. Now, supposedly there's a stalemate rule in effect where if this game gets to the 90 minute mark, then some sort of assassin tiebreaker gets thrown into the mix and to incentivize the game ending, but I don't fully see the game lasting that long with these types of zombie players.
Zombies get 80. Pretty much in uh, in hiding mode. Whenever there isn't a portal on our bottom stack, there'll be heavy zombie concentration around us for quote unquote additional safety. <laughs> yeah, Chris and Feliz keeping their eyes on me. Perfect timing for that portal in there. I saw we had a set. Oh yeah, the wild card. Already forgetting. <laughs> Bradamite sets early.
Freedom might saw I was in the middle there. <clears throat> Only last one troop on the six. Brayden Might and Carter might be trading between the two of them there. So trades are still 15 only. And because I'm interwoven between a lot of people here, <laughs> I don't think I need to trade. Plus 
Plus, there are no portals on any of my positions. And my southernmost stack is protected by 10 zombies. Okay, we have a trade without having to burn the wild, so if everybody trades on four, then I guess we could as well. Okay, Felice doesn't trade. If Carter and Chris both don't trade, I think I'm also fine with not trading. Zombies don't make an attack at all. So we're all trading. <laughs> all trading next to zombies. Okay.
Sheet. Yeah, okay. And with there being no portals, no portals next turn, I think I don't have to trade this round of trades. Okay, Carter's making another position and gives Bradamite a card. This is doing some searching. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll I don't think I'll keep another position there with both <laughs> Chris and Carter over there. Bradamite doesn't trade. He takes his turn really quickly. Ooh, we have another set without burning the wild. is an unstable portal on one of my positions. Forty,
Do I trade in early hoping? Yeah, I think I do. I kind of want to see if action happens with the portals opening next turn and then I trade in. We'll see what that does. Ooh. So everyone just saw one of Carter's spots get hit. Is he now killable? Has the spot next to Feliz. Okay, it appears to be Breda might go in after him. That 19 has to hit the 11. He looked to run out of steam. Please get him here. Or does Feliz not know about that bottom right position? <laughs> the power of trading in early. So Carter survives. 55. Did we see like a 60 stack pop out on this portal? If so, then that's likely his last spot. A 47. Ah. Uh, that might be all of him. trades oh Chris was in there the whole time wow and that was all of Bradamite okay so he trades in again takes out Feliz and Carter So we have the wild card coming up. I'm assuming Chris has more than enough here, right? Oh shit.
Okay, there we go. Still had that spot. Nice. Okay. We got the chain going. And we have the guaranteed set on three. out enough there. Alright, this is going to come down to if Chris has a trade on three or not. through my three, hit his one. Hit his one. Ah, damn it, lit up. Oh, he doesn't have the set. Yes! Phew! We get the win here. Just to make Chris extra happy here. Alright. <laughs> oh, and he had no trade on four. Oh, man. All right, so that is the game. All right, so we don't have to take the zombies out fully, but we may as well since we're here, since this is prog and not fixed. But yeah, holy shit. I don't know exactly what happened there. I think it was Bradamite who went for Carter, and then Feliz who tried to clean up Carter, and then I think Carter may have just had that one spot left. And when hunting for Feliz's stuff, I completely forgot about that spot here that, to be fair, he had since the start of the game, so I should have remembered that at the very least. Alright, so this means that we won't be playing next week. We get an automatic buy into the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the semifinals. Which is always nice.
Let's do that. Zombies gain 69 troops. No set on three, but we should have this coming up here. Yeah, with a 34. Here's the official victory. <laughs> the early trade causing, well, maybe not fully causing, but uh, helping uh, convince early action seemed to have worked there. So as mentioned, we'll be going on to the semis, which means the next round of this tournament for me will be sometime in the next two weeks or so, depending on the scheduling. GG's once again to all of our opponents, and until next time everybody, take care, and cheers for stopping by.